The victor has been decided! Let us do it again sometime!
will be Jerk! Oh no! Oh no! You're too close! Fast break! Too close! Too close! Too close! Fast break! Fast break! I am going full strength! Before we meet again, I will become a stronger man! I swear! The victor has been decided!
battle begins! <laughs> I will continue to work hard and get even stronger!
battle begins! This is the ultimate Genjutsu! Here I come! Here I come!
Now official members of Team 7, the three of them undertook a mission to escort a dignitary to the land. A bridge was under construction to connect the impoverished land of waves to the other nations. However, the work was frequently impeded by a group who did not look with favor upon the project. Team 7 made the decision to guard the bridge through its completion. It was then that two strange characters emerged and drew them into a fierce battle. This duo consisted of Zabuza Momochi, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, and Haku, a young disciple of Zabuza, who possessed considerable powers himself. Although Naruto felt a sense of ambivalence toward Haku, who he could see was being used as a mere tool by Zabuza, for the sake of his friends and his beliefs, he steeled his resolve and challenged Haku alongside Sasuke. Now that I'm here, everybody's gonna be fine! <laughs> That's what you're here for, loser. Let me do it. Let me do it. I fight for someone who is precious to me. I live for him and face death for him. So his dream may become reality. I'll defeat anyone who interferes with Zabuza, no matter who it is. I won't let those important to me get hurt! I'm gonna win this no matter what! Let me do it. I won't let you escape. Uzu. Consciousness. In the midst of heated combat, Sasuke awakens Sharingan a special visual jutsu only accessible to the Uchiha clan, turning the battle in their favor. Why? Why did you save me? I didn't ask you to! I don't know. My body just moved. There was no time to think, loser. Witnessing this tragedy, Naruto flew into a violent rage, awakening the power of the nine-tailed fox sealed within him and unleashing an attack that overcame Haku. What's happening? I'll never forgive you! for this kid. Sabuza. While Naruto and Sasuke were occupied with Haku, Kakashi was also locked in mortal combat with Zabuza. 
A faker like you could never beat me. For the land of waves and its future, I'll put an end to you. Your future holds only one thing, death. You can't defeat me. I fight because of my ambitions. You're too dangerous. I'll have to stop you here. Fire style, fire. Fire style, fire. You got a little too ambitious. Lightning blade. When lightning shiver. Why? Why can't I keep up? You can't beat me in your current state. Lightning blade! Your ambition will create lots of sacrifices. That isn't something worthy of a ninja. Twin lightning shiver! As Kakashi lashed out with the finishing blow, Haku threw his body in between them, sacrificing his life to protect his master. When a person has something precious they want to protect, then they become genuinely strong. Haku walked his own ninja way until the very end. Just then, Gato, Zabuza's employer, arrived on the scene with a large band of outlaws. Having no further use for his two underlings, his plan was to murder them along with all of Team Seven. As a gesture of gratitude for the empathy that Naruto had displayed toward Haku, Zabuza expended the last of his remaining strength to slay Gato. at my side. The least I can do is be beside you at the end. I know it cannot be, but I wish I could go 
where you have gone. As snow fell all around them like tears from heaven, Zabuza drew his final breath beside Haku's broken body. Watching these two shinobi live out their ninja way to the very end made a powerful impression on Naruto. The Chunin Exam, an event jointly coordinated by the Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, and other neighboring nations to bring their Genin together to be tested. However, in truth, its primary purpose was to allow each nation to demonstrate its military strength in a small-scale mock war. The three friends, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, successfully applied the teamwork they had developed during their previous missions to pass the first and second tests. For their third test, they were matched individually against other ninja for the right to advance. 
Naruto was pitted against his Ninja Academy classmate, Kiba Inosuka. I'll never lose to the light. Easier said than done. Let's see what you could do. One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here's not an option! As the spectators watched the stunning upset unfold, they began to realize the extent of Naruto's ability. And so did Naruto. As the tuning exam preliminary matches came to a close, it was time for the finals to begin. Naruto was matched against Neji Hyuga, considered the mightiest genin of the Hidden Leaf. Neji had completely dominated Hinata Hyuga in the preliminaries. But after being ridiculed with the phrase, once a loser, always a loser, Naruto vowed to avenge the insult leveled against him and Hinata. I'm gonna win! Now, you'll learn the hard way that no one can alter fate.
not your destiny. Not losing to some coward who goes on about destiny or whatever! I look forward to your look of despair when you realize the truth. <laughs> Pathetic mist. <laughs> You're too shabby. <laughs> not losing to you of all people! Not a chance! <laughs> Oh, unbelievable! How could I? Don't give me that crap about nobody changing fate! What a bunch of garbage! Cause unlike me, you're no failure! It was Nezi who once said, one can't change destiny, in reference to the fate of the Hyuga clan's branch house. But drawing inspiration from his fight with Naruto, he began to believe that he could, in fact, alter his destiny.
The sudden conflict was an unprecedented disturbance for the Hidden Leaf. Hiruzin Sarutobi, the third Hokage, faced off against Orochimaru amidst the raging maelstrom. As one of the legendary Sanin, Orochimaru had once been his student. Orochimaru's goal in inciting the conflagration was to bring about the destruction of the Hidden Leaf by his own hand. He also hoped to abduct Sasuke in order to use his superior body as a reincarnation vessel. To defeat Hiruzen, Orochimaru employed the forbidden reanimation jutsu to summon the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, and the second Hokage, Tobirama Senju. His aim was to instigate a fierce battle between Hokages. Interesting fact, there's an odd sense of joy in wounding the one you once called master. You're feeling that now, are you? In a moment, I'll let you taste some of that same sweet thrill yourself. Disrespecting the dead and manipulating time. Don't let them kill you, Joe. How dull that would be. Crushing the leaf village, huh? Five style! Massive combo jutsu! But I didn't know the sand were on the move. Also part of your plan? History is always good. Five style! Massive combo jutsu! You're steeped in darkness, and I will punish you accordingly. Your dream of crushing the hidden leaf dies here. You feeble old man! Give me back my arms! How dare you take my jutsu from me! Farewell, Orochimaru, my disciple. And so the plan to destroy the Hidden Leaf failed. All ninja of the Leaf had put their lives on the line in the fight to protect the village and thwart Orochimaru's foul scheme. Where the tree leaves dance, one shall find flames. The 
fire shadow will illuminate the village, and once again, tree leaves shall bud anew. Thank you.